hello topic for today is capillary number so what is the capillary number and where it is used so capillary number is the ratio of two forces that is one is viscous force and another one is interfacial tension force so it is the ratio of this viscous force that is the viscosity into velocity and the interfacial tension force that is sigma so we can have the formula of capillary number like this mu v by sigma the important thing we have to notice is this mu and v term so mu is the dynamic viscosity of injecting fluid that is the fluid which we inject during our EOR process so in EOR we have we all know two, two, two types of fluid one is injection fluid and another one is reservoir fluid so this mu is related to injecting fluid this V is same as superficial velocity of injecting fluid that is very much important to know that these both terms are of injecting fluid and not of the reservoir fluid so if we inject the water or gas then we have to consider water viscosity and water velocity and this is the interfacial tension between the injecting and displacing fluid the unit of it is newton per meter that is also an important part to know so how we use this capillary number in EOR so before going into detail explanation we would like to summarize some of the points that is we all will be agreed to this so if we have thick injection fluid then it can displace the our oil thick or lighter oil easily so if we have more viscous fluid then it can we can have piston like movement of fluid and it will easily recover the trapped oil that the thing we all can agree another thing is the more the miscibility between the two fluids our injecting fluid and production fluid the more will be recovery that is also same thing we have to inject water and we will receive water if we can miscible that both thing then we will have more recovery and third thing is as we lower the interfacial tension it will lead to more the miscibility that is also pure miss for pure miscibility we have zero IFT so more the viscosity so we will have more the recovery so more viscosity means more capillary number less the interfacial tension we will have more recovery so we will have if less amount of interfacial tension then it will have more number of capillary number more value of capillary number so in short if we have higher the capillary number we will have higher the oil recovery so for better efficiency we require the viscosity of injection fluid that is more and less interfacial tension so we will require more the value of capillary number this is the graph which show the capillary number versus normal residu residual saturation in which we can see that as the capillary number increases the residual saturation will be decreased so we can say that the direct we will have more oil recovery if we have less capillary number so next question is how we increase this capillary number so for that we have three options we can increase the viscosity of the injecting fluid that is water or gas we can achieve that with the help of polymer and that is called the polymer injection or polymer flooding we can increase this superficial velocity or we can reduce this interfacial tension between both of the fluid which is displacing fluid that is water and displaced fluid that is water uh, oil so how we reduce this interfacial tension for that we have two options we can have surfactant flooding so we inject surfactant solution so that it will react with our oil and water it will create the emulsion and then it try to reduce the interfacial tension so our capillary number will be increased 
so in that way we can increase this capillary number so that we will have the more oil recovery in EOR process that is the significance of the capillary number and for the typical values in reservoir condition where we have a number of pores and capillaries the capillary number ranges to this value and in, in pipe flow means in drill pipe or tubing there we have no restriction to flow there capillary number can be in order of one so here also we can say that if the capillary number is less then we will have some residual saturation oil saturation or fluid saturation and if, if the capillary number is more then we will have a very small amount of residual oil saturation thank you